Across Europe, prisoners eligible for early release are being freed from jails as a way to try to slow the spread of the coronavirus. In the UK, the government has set a target to release 4,000 inmates, but as Trent Murray reports, it's falling short. European justice ministers are authorising the early release of prisoners as a way to help slow the spread of COVID-19. Experts say the disease thrives in cramped prison environments and freeing up space inside jail cells could allow for social distancing to help slow transmission. It is. It's very, very difficult inside a prison, a closed prison, because it's so confined. Narrow landings, cell doors next to each other. You know, it's a very restricted area, so to adhere to those social distancing guidelines can be done, but it means we've had to severely restrict our regime. The UK government has set a target of releasing 4,000 prisoners early, but unions say it's not being done fast enough. We're hoping that that process can be streamlined and we can get these prisoners out, because as far as I'm aware, there's not that many prisoners who've actually been released since that announcement. It's in the dozens rather than the hundreds, so that really needs to be addressed. The slow pace of release is something acknowledged by the prisons minister, who yesterday assured fellow lawmakers there would be an increase in coming days. In relation to the uh, wider release, the early releases uh, that we identified, uh, we released uh, four uh, men uh, last week and are uh, planning to release a significant number this week. Um, we have been, over the last few days, conducting the absolutely necessary checks to ensure that the people that we will be releasing early do not pose a risk to the public. There is no EU-wide policy on reducing prison populations during the pandemic, but individual member states are taking their own steps. France, Germany and Greece have all made moves to allow for early release, with more countries...